And now for the weird news. Police said a, a woman has been arrested for allegedly... Allegedly. Allegedly. <laughs> slipping some tranquilizers into her boss's coffee because she felt he needed to chill out. Police said 24-year-old woman admitted to detective that she slipped the drugs into veteran John Duckett's drink. Now, Mark, before I go any further, okay, if this woman go, goes to jail or gets fined or if anything happens to her, what is the name of the crime of this? Um... I guess food tampering or something? I mean, wouldn't be considered as assault actually because he's like trying I have to no idea she's trying to do it like intentionally to cause harm or something. There I had no idea, dude. I don't even think there's a, even a crime for this. Well there's yeah, a crime yeah, for there, there, there there is a crime for it. I mean there's a there's a crime if you tamper around with food. You know, so I, I guess this could fall under that. But if it's against towards a particular person, it could be assault. Officers said Duckett do something went wrong shortly after drinking some of the coffee Tuesday morning. A judge set bond at twenty five thousand on Friday, and a jailer said the woman is still being held Friday. Her next court appearance is scheduled for April twenty one, and they, Mark, you should have put the uh, the charge. What yeah, they didn't put the charge on there. Like they did the they, yeah, they, they didn't say what he was charged with. So, you want me to do the next one? Sure. Okay, there you go. Um, a man in Malaysia um, shot his neighbor as she picked uh, sapodilla fruit. Sapodilla? Oh, okay. That must be a fruit. I gotta look that up. Um, in his tree, thinking that she was a monkey. Okay, for people out there who didn't get that. Guy comes out, shoot women because he thought that she was a monkey. Dick Cheney kind of made a mistake like that. He thought he thought his friend was a duck. I don't know. Maybe it was it was probably the mustache that gave him away. Anyway, um, police chief in the eastern uh, Panghan state of Yahaya Otman said that the woman was gathering fruit Thursday when her neighbor shot her. Uh, Yahaya said that the man came home and saw rustling in a tree and fired at it. Then there was screaming and thought that he didn't know. But then he did know that he was his neighbor. So I don't know whether or not he saw her directly or maybe he just saw like her hair or something and just thought it was a monkey. Fur. He did it intentionally. Move on. I just <laughs> shot her. Okay. Well, I have one last one. Um, six high-risk prisoners escaped a Canadian jail last, last summer after spending four months chipping a path to freedom with nail clip, clippers and other makeshift tools. Um, they used their tools to remove a heating rail, a steel plate um, to win access to a brick exterior wall uh, while inmate placed cards to block the guard's view. Um, oh, okay, hold on. Uh, while the inmate played cards to guard the bar, uh, block the guard's view, or guard the block's view. Oh, crap. <laughs> Sorry. Kind of got lost in the words there. No, you got it right. Uh, uh, block the guard's view. The others um, broke through the opening with a steel rod. Then they used uh, braided blankets and bed sheets to scale wall, just like Rapunzel. She did that. Um, to scale wall to the compound and escape. They still have not been caught at this time. So I, I guess they broke through with a... Wait, how small is a nail, a nail clipper? Real small. Remember the one, uh, Ma? Yeah, I have one of those. It's like, oh my god. You, you, you can, you can like, go through brick with a nail clipper? It's pretty small. It's like this small. Yeah, it, it, uh, you think they should get caught or they deserve the hard work for them to escape? I think they deserve it. I mean, they, they spent four <laughs> months chipping away with, through a brick wall with a nail clipper. Yeah, I just, by all means, uh, have your freedom. So, do you want to do the Japan news? Sure, I'll do the first one. Okay, there you go. 
And now for the Japan news. A Filipino couple named Aldera Arlan Calderon. There's classic Filipino right there. And Sarah Calderon will be leaving the 13-year-old Daro Noriko in Japan after receiving a deportation notice. Wait a minute. Notice. That, that, notice. <laughs> that, that's, the, that's the quality of our news stories here at Anime Beer and Cake. <laughs> nah, man. Nah, it's we just, just that. make words up as it's we go. It's just that, along. you know, if I get a little sleepy, my words just start to I'm tired, everywhere. man. It's 10 o'clock on a Sunday. It's 10, but like, dude. I mostly get uh, sleepy at 11. I don't know why. I'm tired now. I usually, I'm usually at bed. Now, don't tell me uh, they left her like alone, did they? No, 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 no. The couple in Japan in the early 90s got married and then had the child. They decided that they would leave Noriko in the care of Sarah, the mom's sister, and will go back to the Philippines in April. See? There's nothing like serious about this. Well, yeah, well, they had it as a top news story, so I gotta read it. And it's been happening a while, and they gotta leave her there all alone because she was Japanese born. If you're Japanese born, then you automatically get citizenship. The mom's sister's taking care of her, though. Yeah, I know, but I don't understand why the daughter's gonna stay, not the parents. It's like, don't you think the Japanese authorities should let at least one of the parents stay there? Because the daughter already has citizenship. Can't she have the rest of her family live there with her? You know? A million dollar question. So, I mean, if you have a relative there, shouldn't you be able to get a, like, you know, stay there? But I guess J Japan is like that, you know? I'll read the second one. A basketball coach in Kochi, Japan, has gotten in trouble because he was ordering his students to kill pigeons. The pigeons were interrupting practice last December, and he ordered his students to go over there and cut the throats of the birds. Like, Some I want you to cut them all. Some of the students are still... It's part of your training. Traumatized. But the coach has since apologized over the incident. Yeah. Uh, it, should, it could be a part of their training, right? 